Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and today we're going to talk about another excellent laptop for $999. Dell G15 with a 12th gen Intel processor. This one is actually impressive at this price point and I think it is the fastest and overall the best gaming laptop in this budget. Right off the bat, its biggest downside is the screen. It's not actually that bad, but it's definitely far from being great. The thing is that it's not an IPS but a WVA panel and it's not very bright and colorful, also it has pretty poor contrast level. This screen is okay for gaming because of its high refresh rate, but if you're into the creative sphere and you work with graphics a lot, you'll definitely be needing a good and vibrant external monitor. And aside from the screen, everything is fantastic. The CPU is a monster at this price point, it is even more powerful than one of the last year's best laptop CPUs, Intel i7-11800H. And if you're new to the 12th gen Intel processors and not aware of why they stand out, I need to explain it to you before we proceed. The best part of it is that unlike any other processors, they pack two types of cores, efficiency cores and performance cores. It is called a hybrid design and the system can use different cores on demand. Efficiency cores are less powerful, they have lower clock speeds as well as lower consumption of power meaning your battery will last longer. These cores are used when you do something simple like scrolling through web pages or watching a movie for example. And performance cores are obviously more powerful, rocking at higher frequencies and drowning the battery faster. The laptop enables them when you're into something heavy, for example motion design, coding or game. So in this case we got 8 efficiency cores and 4 performance cores. And this processor is on a whole another level. And paired with a 95 watts configuration of NVIDIA RTX 3050 graphics card, rocking 4 gigabytes of video memory on board, they provide an outstanding experience, performing any tasks you could possibly think of. Back in the days, this kind of performance would have cost a fortune. And in this case, you know, I just can't stop thinking about the price it's sold for. Anyways, aside from the powerful CPU and GPU, it packs the latest generation of random access memory and 4th gen solid state drive. And operating this laptop feels like... I mean, it's really fast and smooth. The system feels snappy and responsive, it boots up in like 10 seconds, launches apps almost instantly and transfers files really really fast. Talking about gaming performance, I've installed and tested a lot of games on this machine and it took me over 20 hours to do that, so if this info is something you were looking for, I would really appreciate your support in form of likes and comments down below. And as you can see, the results are absolutely overwhelming, especially if we glance at the laptop's price tag again. These numbers are even higher than Lenovo IdeaPad 3 i has shown because of faster RAM. Yes, they are not significantly higher and not even in every title, but still. This gain in performance compared to Lenovo, I can definitely feel it while using the laptop. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep in mind that it only comes with one RAM stick pre-installed and I highly recommend upgrading it ASAP to enable the dual channel mode. The links to some suitable RAM upgrade planks are in the description box below this video and purchasing any products using my links supports me a lot, making it possible to test more tech and make reviews. Now honestly, the build quality of Dell G15 is average. It doesn't feel premium, but it doesn't have to either. And please don't get me wrong, it is pretty sturdy, I feel like the hinges are reliable and won't break in a month, but this plastic, maybe I just don't like plastic laptops. But it actually looks nice, pretty minimalistic and I like it. The Pornhub color scheme makes it a little eye-catching, but still, the design is very discreet. The keyboard is alright, it's spacious and it is a pleasant experience to type this video script on it. I really like that it has a number pad, I feel like a lot of gaming laptops are lacking these additional keys which make it possible to fly a helicopter in GTA, also it has orange backlighting and you cannot change the color in this configuration. Now let's make it quick, the webcam is shitty, selection of ports is great, the touchpad is pretty small but it's still ok to use for choosing a movie to watch, it does support Wi-Fi 6 and it has never lost network, the Bluetooth is stable, I tested it with my favorite gaming mouse Razer Orch V2 and the battery life is bad, but it is expectable from a powerful gaming laptop at this price point. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to make some conclusions. I feel like with new technologies we're able to get much more power for the same price tag. 
And this laptop is an excellent example of that. It is much more powerful than a lot of more pricey previous year's laptops and overall I really enjoyed testing it. It is great for any personal and heavy tasks and I think that not the best screen is a fair price for this level of performance in this budget. Plus it's not all that bad. Also I'd really appreciate it if Gigabyte added another PCIe slot for storage upgrade but other than that there is nothing to complain about. And I, Brian McKinsey, declared this laptop the strongest of them all in a budget of $1000 available today. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video was helpful, make sure to check the description box down below, there is a lot of interesting info and links for you and see you in the next video.